instead of bleaching your baby's skin and causing damage to his or her head, why not watch this video so you can find out basic things that you can take while pregnant so your baby will come out light skin. Hello, good day, and welcome to my channel. This is Official Star Girl TV. Please, if you're joining us for the first time, do well to click the subscribe button. And to my old time subscribers, thank you for being here. You guys are amazing, and trust me, I want you guys to be here. So, today I want to be talking about basic things that you can take while you're pregnant that will make your baby light skin. Yeah. Instead of bleaching your baby's skin and causing her hair damage, just like the one that's going by right now, the mom that bleached her daughter's skin, her daughter is now suffering from kidney disease. So, that video inspired me to actually share with you guys what you can take, okay, so that your baby will be light skin, so that you avoid bleaching or buying harmful um, things to apply on his body or her body for he or she to be light skin, okay. But, nevertheless, remember the less that cool light skin no, we are perfectly and wonderfully made okay yeah we didn't create ourselves okay so that shouldn't be our problem the goal is to give birth to a, a healthy child so okay join me guys and let's go to today's topic so there is during pregnancy one of the things you shouldn't joke with is avocado pear okay be it avocado pear, avocado pear, be it black pear, anywhere you see pear in the market, make sure you buy it. Don't joke with it. Buy it for your husband. Buy it. Your husband should buy it for you. You should buy it yourself. Okay. Don't joke with it. At any given point in time, take up, uh, take pear. Okay. A small few be like Avo avocado pear can make me my baby to grow big. No, that's it. Like baby cannot be because avocado contains healthy fat. Okay. It has fat in it quite all right but they are very healthy okay they are good for you as a pregnant woman they are good for your born child so you shouldn't be scared taking avocado pear at all this is 100 percent healthy and i will totally advise you to take it while pregnant if you want your baby to be light skin okay yeah once you take it very well trust me there's no need for you to buy all those harmful cream or lotion that will harm your child okay yeah your baby will fresh from the inside okay your baby will be healthy from the inside baby will be light skin from the inside you get yeah and um avocado pear is not scarce something you can see anywhere okay the black pear is what uh that might be seasonal but that doesn't mean it's scarce and it's actually affordable okay yeah when you can use your avocado pear if you cannot eat it with bread you can eat it alone okay you can eat it with your rice a pregnant woman you know you guys we all know how to combine crazy meals okay that will even turn out delicious okay yeah so make avocado pear your priority and i uh, trust me okay your baby will come out light skin okay well let's head to the second one okay yeah so guys and the second one that will make your baby light skin fresh healthy the second one is coconut yeah you can take coconuts as much as you can find it in the market okay coconut don't joke with it, including the water you can drink the water too the water can help your baby be fair okay even though you're dark maybe your dark your husband is dark okay you can actually have a light skinned baby all right yeah you can actually and you know sometimes it co it's in jeans okay genetics Okay, so coconut is something you shouldn't joke with while you are expecting your precious um, bundle of joy. Okay, yeah, make sure you take coconut. Okay, you break it, take the water, take the white, take everything. It is healthy. It is safe for a pregnant woman. Okay, it's not light skin baby. Okay, yeah. So buy cashew nut. Eat cashew nut. Do not joke with it. Be stingy with it as well because it's expensive. <laughs> so just try. I know that being pregnant is not easy. Sometimes you might not even be craving for that. Okay, but if you crave for it, eat it. Be free. Eat it. It is healthy. Okay, it's not harmful to you. And trust me, you thank me later for this. All right. Okay. Hot one is yogurt. Uh, yogurt. Who does not like yogurt? Uh, who doesn't like yogurt? Please. 
if you're pregnant avoid soda as much as you can avoid soda especially those dark dark bones avoid it take your gut once you give it to your baby your baby will be fresh your baby will be blowing you from the inside no need of buying all those cheap cheap harmful uh, what is it called bleaching whatever because you want your baby to be healthy no okay it's a thing that you buy your baby you take your baby will be fresh from the stomach you know your baby will be as you got from the stomach so buy your gut take your gut take your gut any type of yogurt, green Hollandia yogurt, beet, um, sweetened yogurt, anyone that you can carry, anyone that you can take and you find it. Alright? Take yogurt, make yogurt your drink. And of course, what? But anytime you're, um, you have the desire to take any drink, take yogurt. But yogurt shouldn't be taken that large quantity, shouldn't be everyday um, drink you get. Yeah. You know why can it actually make your baby to be big inside? Yes, I have to tell you that is the fact. Your baby might be big in the stomach, okay? I won't, you know, we don't really want our baby to be that big, but it's easy for us to poop out. <laughs> or even if you see yes, mom, it doesn't matter. But just know that your gut actually makes your baby big. So if you want a big baby, actually, you can take your gut, okay? It helps, okay? And your baby will still be fresh, fine, and light skin. So please take your gut but in moderation all right yeah so the next one i'm going to be talking about, i shouldn't joke with at all is fish yes instead of eating chicken instead of eating meat please eat fish lots of fish okay you can eat barbecue fish you can eat fresh fish fish if you want to know how to cook catfish um you can look um, to my previous post and media there is a video i made on how to wash um, catfish and prepare it okay you can learn from there and you can cook it you can actually eat it with rice you can eat it alone okay yeah but in case you don't have that one you can buy that normal fish in the market you can cook your stew your soup just eat plenty and lots of fish okay you can actually make barbecue eat it with your potatoes with your fried potatoes your fried yam okay yeah just in barbecue so fish is very healthy if you want your baby to be light skin you should make fish your source of protein okay yeah you should eat more of fish joke is fish at all make it your number one source of protein okay you, you, you can eat chicken or you can eat beef you can eat um pork you can eat snail yeah snail you are actually healthy forget all this mice they say that once you eat snail your baby will be um spitting or your baby will be sluggish like snail you say like snail yeah eat snail much as you can snail is actually very very healthy in as much as fish is also what the next one you shouldn't joke with orange. you see orange see where you see Bye. Buy a range. You can you can juice it out and be taking as juice. Okay, it is natural. It is very okay for a pregnant woman to take lots and lots of oranges. Okay, yeah. Okay, I remember when I, when I was pregnant, I did take orange very 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 often. Okay, yeah. Those days I will even juice it out and put it in the fridge in, in the fridge for it to get chill a little. Then I'll drink it. That was my number one juice aside you got okay so do not joke with oranges if you want your baby to be light skin so oranges are a must in your pregnancy journey anyway you see orange last but not the least please my dear take your routine drugs so I don't like drugs. It's not an it's not an excuse. You must love them. You know why? Yes. Your baby needs it. You as a woman, you need that too. So, please and please do not joke with your routine drugs. And if those routine drugs that you buy and um, randomly, they are too much for you. You can actually go to the supermarket. There are other good ones that just you take one and it contain every other drugs. They are even liquid routine drugs. So, ask your doctor. For it okay, but if you cannot find because it's quite expensive, please 
all those ones that they do buy randomly please do not joke with it okay just be strong enough and take it for you take it for your child your baby needs it you need it all right yeah routine drugs are Routine drugs is a must take. It's not something that you say, ah, I don't like that. You must like it though, because this is what you signed. Okay. So, thank you so much. Please remember to click the subscribe button and comment and like and share, okay? Mwah. Till next time, please. Bye.